Good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing? Good. Great. This is going to be a very exciting conference. It's, uh, it's our first ever user conference, and I'm very excited to have uh, all of you here participating with us. We have a really, really amazing group of companies, some of the most innovative companies in the world, some of the largest companies in the world, some of the, some of the most forward-thinking companies in the world, some of the very disruptive companies in the world that are participating in the conference. Many of you are our customers, and I'd like to thank you for being our partners in our journey for, and being our customers and uh, with us uh, for the last many years. Uh, we had a really amazing journey together. If you look at our journey, uh, more and more companies worldwide are adopting AppDynamics every year. We have been one of the fastest growing enterprise technology companies uh, for, for the last many years. Uh, 17 of the top 20 APM deployments are using AppDynamics. Uh, six of the largest retailers in the world using AppDynamics. Five of the largest tech companies in the world using AppDynamics now. Uh, five of the largest banks in the world using AppDynamics now. We are expanding geographically. We, are, we have offices in 13 different countries now. We have, uh, uh, we have customers in 42 different countries now. We, we are expanding our team as part of that. We are growing pretty rapidly. We grew from 50 employees four years ago to 200 employees two years ago to 500 employees uh, uh, now and growing at a very, very rapid pace. Uh, and it's, uh, it's all because of, because of you. It's, uh, it's our success, what we are doing, what we are bringing, bringing to you, is really because of your partnership with us. So you, you have been not only our customers, but our partners in this journey. And on behalf of AppDynamics, on every employee of AppDynamics, everyone at AppDynamics, I would like to say a big thank you very much to all of you. So thank you. Business is transforming. Every business in the world, doesn't matter what you do, uh, it's, uh, whether it's uh, insurance business, software business, telco, bank, retail, tech, every, anything, every business is transforming right now through software. Software, what we call the emergence of a software-defined business, that your business now could be, uh, could be disrupted through someone else innovating on software. So you have to innovate on software so that you can drive more and more uh, capabilities to your consumers, to drive more revenue, to transform your business. And this is the biggest transformation of our lifetime, this transformation of a software, transformation to a software-defined business. And that's why the theme of our first ever user conference is transform, that how do you transform your business through software innovation? How do you become uh, the drivers of that software-defined business? And most of you uh, are at the forefront of that for your businesses. And you are defining the transformation. The job of IT is software innovation now to, trans to, do, to transform your business through software innovation, right? And a lot of you are presenting here, and I'm very excited to, to hear your stories on how you are transforming your software businesses uh, uh, through IT, through software disruptions. The shift in architectures in the last five years has been very transformational. If you look at uh, how software applications have been built, how the job of IT has been changing, uh, the applications are so much more distributed. They are so much more dynamic. It's orders of magnitude different than just five years ago what it used to be. So many more moving parts, so much more complexity. But that complexity, that transformation is going to increase. For the next five years, it's not going to slow down. Your job will become uh, harder and harder as this complexity increases, right? Mobile devices will continue to change the consumer experience for, of your business. How do you engage with your consumers? Will become more and more uh, based on mobile devices. Uh, big data will continue to change things on how, many, how much insights you can gain from your business. How can you drive uh, newer kind of applications based on big data? Uh, cloud, the more mainstream adoption of cloud will increase the flexibility, agility that you will have in your, have in your business uh, going forward, right? And Internet of Things, uh, so one of the most uh, um, amazing trend where software will not only be the hands of humans, but software will be in every electronic uh, device out there, right? So things will continue to transform more and more over the next five years, right? So job of, as, as your job as IT leaders will become more challenging as you, you drive the transformation for your business as part of, part of that, right? The, ex the, ex the expectations from user experience will continue to grow as all of this happens. No one is uh, going to say that since the complexity is increasing, it's okay to have a slightly bad user experience. You will still have to deliver even more and more better user experience, right? If you look at some of the numbers uh, uh, of, of some of the studies on this, 27% of uh, users will leave a website to a competitor if the site is slow. 40% of users on an e-commerce site will never come back uh, if the site is slower than three seconds. For every one second of delay, 
you lose about 7% of revenue on your, on, on your commerce application. So the, 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 the expectations from user experience are very high. The impact is very high. At the same time, the rate of change will continue to grow. It's changing already. It will continue to, uh, continue to grow. 66% uh, of enterprises are already using agile development. 59% are considering DevOps approaches. And the rate of deployments uh, over the last many years, uh, just in the last five years, have increased 30 times for uh, high-performing organizations. If you look at someone like Facebook.com, of 1.2 billion, billion users, and there are two new deployments, two new builds uh, that are deployed in production every, every day. Right? So that kind of rate of change is happening, is starting to happen more and more, and it will continue to go, grow more and more. Right? So as IT leaders, how do you deal with all of this complexity? The, the, the number of moving parts, the complexity in your, in your organization, the complexity in your IT systems is going to grow more and more, and how do you deal with it? The, we, we, how, do you, how do you enable the alignment between IT and business? Your job as IT now is not just the, the keepers of, of IT systems, right? Your job is to transform the business. Your job is to drive the business forward. So that's the end goal we all want to be, right? That IT and business are aligned together. IT drives business, business drives IT. IT enables business, business enables IT. But how do you make that happen? It looks uh, with all of this complexity, all of this pressure, all of the moving parts, and the job of IT becoming bigger and bigger to drive innovation, to drive transformation for, for, for your business. The primary thing that is missing is really one common language on how everyone works together. Developers are using the language of code. Developers talking about how do you optimize the code, how do you tune the code, how do you test the code, how do you develop code much more rapidly. Operations talking about completely different set of things. Operations talking about is something slow right now, is something not working, how do you troubleshoot it, how do you remediate it? So the, 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 the language is different. Business is talking about a different language. Business is talking about how much revenue are we generating? How, what's, the, what's the conversion of our, of, of our, of our consumers? What's the, did we lose any revenue when something happened? So it's different set of languages there. Our mission at AppDynamics has been to provide one common language for all of that, which is the language of a business transaction. Those of you who have used AppDynamics, who are AppDynamics customers, uh, you're all familiar with the concept of business transaction as one unit, one primary unit of management around which business, IT, uh, and developers, operations, everyone can, can do things together. Where a business transaction allows you to understand everything about a user's journey. What a user did, uh, uh, log in on your, on your app, to check out from a shopping cart, to book a flight, to process an order, that is a business transaction. But now it allows you to understand every part of it, starting from what the user is doing, what is the experience for the user, what's happening at the application code level, how is the code performing at every service that participated in a transaction, What's happening on the infrastructure? Server, what, which servers participated in that business transaction? Which network participated in this? Which databases participated in it? And then you can also tie it to the business. If a transaction was slow, what was the revenue impact of it? Which users, which users are driving more revenue? Right? So all of these questions could be answered around, the, around this language of a business transaction. And that's been our mission at AppDynamics, to provide this one common language for developers, for operations, and for business to, uh, to solve the complexity of your, as you go and transform your, your business. And with that vision, we have been building our application intelligence platform. Uh, with, uh, our vision of application intelligence platform is one single platform where developers, operations, business can come together, look at the same language, business transaction, but look at it from a different lens. Developers are looking at it the lens of code. How do you, uh, but, the, but the same source of data, same, uh, same common language of business transaction. And if a business transaction is not performing well, what's happening at the code level? How do you tune that code? How do you optimize that code? How do you bat, uh, build better code? Operations are looking at it from operational intelligence perspective. How do you monitor all these business transactions in real time? How do you track something is slow, something is not, so something is failing, and how do you troubleshoot it? How do you remediate it? And business can then uh, look at the same business transactions to so resolve uh, you know, the revenue impact, to, f to plan better for, for future. And that's, the, that's our, our mission, our vision, on how we help you as, uh, as IT leaders to drive that IT and business alignment through the, through the concept of application intelligence in, uh, in your applications. The three main uh, aspects of, of our vision, uh, see, act, and know. C is about monitoring everything that's going on in these, these applications, from the user experience 
to uh, from user experience to what's happening at the, at the application code level, every service, everything, and then down to the infrastructure level. And then uh, act is about acting when something goes wrong or something, a problem happens, or, or, or sometimes active, acting even pro, uh, proactively before a problem happens, right? So it's uh, a, a rapid resolution of problems, rapid remediation of problems, uh, dynamic scaling of your applications, uh, more and more collaboration between dev and ops. That's the, the act part of our, our platform. And then the no part, which is how do you get more and more insights into, into the user behavior? into the consumer behavior, the revenue impact, the business impact, and how do you operationally plan things better so you can uh, develop things faster, you can drive more revenue for your business, you can drive more con better consumer experiences uh, for your business. And with, with that vision, we have been slowly and steadily over the last five years building out our application intelligence platform, starting from visibility inside your Java applications to more languages uh, to then visibility in the client layer of to your, your uh, browser-based applications, iOS, Android, uh, visibility in the data layer, and we'll continue to grow that over the next five years so you get this one common platform, the application intelligence platform, where you can run your software-defined business, where you can partner with the business, IT business can align together and deliver what, 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 uh, what you are asked to deliver. With that uh, as our, our vision, that, with that is, that's our, our mission. I'm, I have a lot of exciting announcements to talk about today. Uh, where where uh, we, our fall 2014 release is coming out next month, and we have, a, we have a lot of new capabilities there, very exciting capabilities. I'm going to talk about that. I'm also going to talk about some of the capabilities that will come out in the next uh, six to nine months. Uh, it's, we, have a, we have a very stellar product engineering team, and our engineering team has put in a, a great amount of effort into these, uh, these new capabilities to continue to expand the application intelligence platform for you. I'm going to talk about those. Uh, there are five areas that I'll focus on, which are our strategic uh, focus areas. One is next generation platform architecture for, for app dynamics, unified monitoring, mo mobile first, DevOps collaboration, and uh, application analytics. Those are the five areas uh, we'll, we'll do. Let's start with next generation platform architecture. One of, the, uh, one of the big goals that we have is to provide you this one single unified platform that scales to to, to, to consume all of your data, data that's coming from your applications, from your users, from your infrastructure, uh, from your networks, and provide you this one, one, uh, pl one platform to solve all the problems. So more and more use cases, more and more, uh, uh, more, and more, more set of problems that you can address with that. Right? With that, we have been re-architecting our platform so that, so that uh, it's ready as your business grows, as your business grows, as your number of users grow, as the number of applications you have grow, uh, we, are, we are ready to provide you the monitoring and management for that. So it's designed for big data scale. Uh, the scale of, uh, of applications, the scale of users growing at a rapid pace uh, is designed for even easier management, where you can uh, large deployments, large installations, you have hundreds of apps, you have thousands of servers, you have you know, multiple cloud providers that you're, that you're engaged with. How do you manage the complexity in that, in that environment? And it's designed for, for, for very high level of extensibility. So with that, I'm very excited uh, to announce our first, uh, uh, first offering that's coming out in our fall release next month, which is our new architecture for time series metric management. As you guys know, for any monitoring system, the core of a monitoring system is time series data management. And we, we can handle millions and millions of time series right now, real-time processing. Our current architecture is built on a relational database, our new architecture that will start rolling out in the, in, in the release next month is, is built on Hadoop-based technologies, HDFS and HBase, uh, horizontally scalable. It's, uh, it's a, with a very, with a very uh, powerful proprietary stream processing engine uh, that's built on it, where we can look at these uh, hundreds and hundreds of millions of time series streams, uh, process them in real time, baseline them, learn their behavior, detect anomalies, correlate them. The most, I would say the most powerful time series monitoring uh, platform uh, in the industry out there. I'm very, very excited about uh, what, 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 we have, uh, what we have achieved here. The second part of the platform is our, our new architecture for how we handle events. You know, at any kind of monitoring and management system, in addition to time series data, you have a lot of discrete event data, and that becomes the core foundation of how do you provide, uh, pr provide this scale of monitoring and management. And we, with, the, with, with our new release, we are launching out our new architecture for event data, which is built on Elasticsearch and Kafka. Uh, again, horizontally scalable. Uh, in it can handle trillions of events, uh, events at a time. 
very complex event processing that we have built on top of that, where we can do event correlation, process all of these events, correlate them with the time series data, and provide you a really rapid troubleshooting, very strong problem resolution, uh, very strong anomaly detection, uh, becomes the core of our, uh, our platform. <laughs> We have a very, uh, very strong data science team that is building on, building on these, uh, and the results are, have been just amazing. It's, you'll, be, uh, you'll be amazed at how uh, the orders of magnitude we can scale with the, with the new platform. I'll give you a few numbers here. Today we can handle up to five million metrics per minute in our, in our current platform, which is a very high number. Which is, uh, we have one of the most scalable time series metric platform already. With our new architecture, we can handle up to 500 million metrics per minute uh, with, with, uh, without, without, uh, without sweating too much. Uh, we, in our current architecture, we can handle 100 million events per day. In our new architecture, we'll be able to handle a trillion events per day, so it's, uh, and, uh, which will allow us to do scale even more and more uh, to solve more problems for you. In our current architecture, we retain the lowest gray, uh, the, uh, the, the one minute granularity data for about six hours. That's what we keep. There's a lot of data for our, from, because of storage requirements. Now, with the new architecture, by default, we'll keep it for eight days, and we can keep it much longer uh, pretty easily. <laughs> this, what this does is it definitely, uh, it puts AppDynamics as one of the most scalable monitoring data platform where we can consume data from, from any source, process it, scale it, and provide you all the capabilities that you're used to with our APM product with, as we expand our, our capabilities for the next, next five years. And this becomes the foundation of everything that, uh, that we'll be doing uh, over, over the next many years. So if you're, if you're a SaaS customer of ours, you will start seeing uh, these, uh, the, the new platform over the, after the next release. If you're an on-premise customer, over the next, uh, next six months, you'll start seeing rollout of this. The good news is, you don't have to do anything about it. You don't have to pay extra, you don't have to do any extra work. As you do, as you do upgrade to the next re few releases, it will automatically be a seamless upgrade where the new platform will come in that will allow you to, uh, to expand AppDynamics easily into, into more and more of your applications, more, of, more of your uh, infrastructure. <laughs> the next thing uh, that we are uh, uh, launching in our fall release next month is, uh, is this new capability called Agent Delivery and Management System. So it's, uh, it's, it's the first rollout of that. What it does, it makes it even easier for you to manage really, really large uh, agent deployments of AppDynamics. You have thousands of agents uh, deployed. What this does, it allows you to, from one click from our user interface, to track the, all the different versions of your agents out there for uh, different AppDynamics agents. You can select hundreds of them, and you can upgrade them together. You can schedule when you want to upgrade them. So it makes it easier and easier for you to manage, the, manage your monitoring installations. That's always been our mission at AppDynamics, to, keep, to make the manageability very, uh, you're very, very easy. And with this capability, we'll take it to the next level, uh, make it even more easier for, for, for you. <laughs> the next thing that we are very excited about announcing is uh, increasing the extensibility of our platform with more, uh, more and more powerful REST APIs, uh, very, and easy ways to build more extensions. Extensions for monitoring, extensions for alerting, extensions for scaling your apps in the cloud, where you can consume data from us and, and, and drive that. And we, uh, with that, we have, uh, last year we launched our AppDynamics Exchange, and it's, become, it's, it's very thriving now. It's our, it's, it's, it's our community where our users, our partners, our customers, they come in and build and, sh uh, and share the extensions that they have built already. And we already have about 100 extensions, uh, which are very rich, and it's growing pretty rapidly. Extensions for anything you can imagine that you would want to monitor from different uh, you know, load balancers to database systems, alerting integrations with anything that you have, ServiceNow, Jira, uh, PagerDuty, uh, uh, the, uh, these kind of cloud-connected extensions where you can dynamically scale in any, any of the cloud environment, uh, integrations with load testing environments, where you, can, where you can put AppDynamics in a load testing situations very uh, tightly integrated so that you can see where the bottleneck was after you ran the, the load test. And uh, I, would, I would encourage everyone to, uh, to continue to participate in our community. You have been great partners in, in, uh, in, in the community. So the next strategic area I'm going to make announcements uh, and, and, and tell you a bit about our vision, where we are going, is our uh, vision of unified monitoring. What we want to provide you is one platform 
one single platform where you can, which becomes, uh, which solves all your monitoring needs. All of you have 10, 15, 20, 30 different monitoring uh, tools in your environment to get the full visibility. And it's a, it's a painful process. So where we are going is how do we provide one simple, integrated, easy platform for you to, to, uh, to do most of your monitoring from, from it. So if, uh, our vision has been, we started from the application layer, that we give you visibility into the application servers, middleware, uh, we, 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 uh, we do it for Java, .NET, PHP, Node.js, and I'm going to announce a few more languages that we are going to, uh, that, uh, that we are launching our agents for. We are expanding, we have been expanding on the client side to web and uh, mobile clients, uh, and we'll, we have been expanding into the database where you can get completely seamless visibility all the way from the client in the application middleware to the database layer. But where we are going in the, in the next, uh, uh, over the next, uh, next 12 to 18 months is really also seamlessly integrate visibility into the business layer and visibility down in the infrastructure layer. So you get one platform, the one application intelligence platform that gives you this complete picture of what's happening in, in your applications. So I, I'm going to talk about our new product application analytics, where, where we are going more and more into the business layer and the business impact of your applications. And over the next, uh, uh, next uh, six to 12 months, you will see announcement from us where we are going uh, uh, to provide you deeper visibility into the infrastructure layer as well, servers and networks. So you get this one application-centric monitoring platform for everything. Where you watch applications, you watch your end user experience, you watch your databases, you watch your infrastructure, you watch your business in one simple, seamless, uh, seamless solution. With that, let me, <laughs> I don't even have to talk about it. <laughs> the most exciting thing about this is, this is the first C++ instrumentation agent in the world that doesn't require any code changes. <laughs> For people in the APM world, lot, for a long time, people thought this was impossible. For C++, you have to provide SDK for people to instrument that, uh, you, uh, that you can't dynamically, instru dynamically do it. And we're very excited to announce our C++ agent, which doesn't require code changes. You just put in your environment and will dynamically instrument your native binaries. All of you guys have these old applications lying around, native applications, C, C++ applications. You don't have any visibility into it. And it's, it's very hard to get access to code where you can go and instrument it. So that's, uh, this, uh, this uh, brings a very, very powerful tool in your hands to get visibility into those, uh, those native applications out there. Without much effort, you will start getting that visibility. Uh, we have a breakout session on this. I will encourage you to, if you're interested, if you have native C, C++ applications to attend that, we'll be, uh, we'll, there'll be a demo of this in the developer lounge in the, on, the demo, on the demo booths. Our next new agent that's coming out that we are announcing beta in the fall releases for Python applications. <laughs> if you have Python apps in your environment, the same level of visibility, the same level of depth, the best, uh, P best uh, Python APM out there uh, that, that we, are, uh, we are launching. If you use AppSphere website, uh, you've already used it because AppSphere website is instrumented through, through the, our Python beta agent right now. The next uh, very exciting thing that's coming out in our next release, in, the, in our fall release next month, is, is completely improved database monitoring. Uh, we have, we, we, uh, it, it's, it's, now it becomes part of our offering. You don't have to do a separate installation. You don't have to do a separate UI. It's completely, completely integrated. And we, we rewrote it to, to make it, to provide you this integrated experience. And this is, again, uh, industry first, the, the first product which allows you to go easy, very easily from application transaction to the database level to, F to the very deep layers of what's happening in the database, why a query is slow, what's happening at the storage layer, and completely seamlessly integrated. If you are, if you are a customer using uh, App, uh, APM from AppDynamics, it's a no-brainer for you to use this. And uh, I would strongly encourage uh, you uh, to, to look at a demo and try it. It's very easy to try. If you are already using AppDynamics APM, it will take you about 15 minutes to set it up and try. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's the, the, the overhead is very low. And as you know, about 20 to 30% problems still happen in database. Databases are, have been around for a long time, but the problems haven't gone away. Uh, the, your applications are becoming more and more data intensive, and this, allow, this will allow you to, to troubleshoot the problem all the way deep down in the, at, the, at the database level. The next announcement I'm going to make is, uh, is, is a new capability we are adding into our real user monitoring uh, offering. Which is uh, which is ability for you to just click on any uh, uh, click on any of the page and generate some synthetic traffic from 40 different locations in the world. 
So if you are using our real user monitoring product, this is available to you for free for you to generate any synthetic tests from, uh, from different locations. In the, in, 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 the, in the next few months, we are going, also going to announce the beta of a new product uh, for, for you to integrate synthetic monitoring into the application, mo in, into the AppDynamics platform, where you can schedule uh, you know, every minute, every five minutes, synthetic tests from hundreds of different locations in the world where, uh, and completely integrated into all the monitoring that you're providing in the, in the application and the middleware layer. Very exciting to see how many uh, interesting things are coming out. I'm, I'm personally very thrilled, and I'm, I'm glad that uh, we're solving more and more problems for you. The next section I'm going to talk about is, is mobile, mobile first. Every, every business, all of your businesses, are, are moving to mo very rapidly to mobile. Software is changing the whole world, but mobile is changing it even faster. And mobile is becoming the driver for, for a lot of, these, lot of the transformation that's happening. It's changing the, every consumer interaction that you do could be changed very easily with, with mobile. You know, if you look at how you get a taxi, right? So instead of uh, go on the street and getting a taxi, now you just use your Uber app or Lyft app and get a taxi. It's, the mobile has changed the consumer interaction completely, disrupted a whole industry, and it's happening in every industry, right? So mobile is changing things, and our mission, our goal is to really help you go through the transformation and help you with that, right? So uh, it, it's, a, it's a hard problem, mobile apps, uh, you're building mobile apps at such a fast pace. The user experience expectations are even higher than web apps. 86% of the people delete an, a mobile app after the first bad experience. So Im imagine the bar now that you all of you have to, to, to meet, that if you, have one, you give one bad experience, 86% of the people will remove the app. The, other, uh, the, uh, the people who haven't deleted the app, they will probably uh, give a bad, uh, bad rating to, to your app, and that's, uh, that's not, good, not good either, right? And understanding the end users, there is really no visibility into it. If you are a mobile developer, you are responsible for building these mobile apps to drive these mobile experiences. Understanding where the users are coming from, what are they doing, it's a really hard thing to do right now. 70% uh, of the mobile development organizations are struggling to, keeping up, to keep up with the devices that you have. You have so many versions of iOS out there. You have so many Android devices out there, uh, so many network providers, so many different uh, 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 3G networks, 4G networks, different bandwidths. How do you keep up with all of that? How do you test for it? How do you, how do you track if your application is working smoothly for one scenario, but it's not working for another scenario? How do you even keep track of all of that, right? So that's a, that becomes a, it makes the problem even harder. Then at the business level, uh, there is no visibility for business executives to know what are, what are the conversion rates from your mobile apps? What are the, what are the revenue impact if your, if your app is crashing? Right? So the, mo the mobile is almost like a black box for most mobile development and IT organizations. And that's what we are, uh, we are solving with the product we announced uh, in September, our mobile, uh, AppDynamics mobile real user monitoring product, which allows you to very, very easily get answers to the problems uh, that you have for mobile, for mobile applications very rich user behavior analytics, where you will, can see inside every aspect of what the users are doing, where, where they're coming from, what screens they're clicking, what's, uh, 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 what, is their, what is their experience, which devices are they using? Are they using iOS? Are they using Android? Which version of iOS? Which version of Android? How many people coming from 2G network? How many people coming from 3G network? You will have all of that visibility. If something goes wrong, if application slows down or someone is having a bad experience, will provide you really powerful, uh, some of the most powerful performance monitoring and troubleshooting for that. It's the, it's, it's, it's the first product that completely integrates on the, what's happening on the back end. Right? So anytime you have a mobile app, it's calling the back end services that you have in Java, .NET, PHP, uh, those back end services. Right? And what we provide is a completely integrated view from the mobile click to what's happening in the back end, so you can troubleshoot those performance problems very quickly. And the third thing is, uh, is crash analytics. Mobile applications do crash. Right? The browser applications don't crash as much, uh, even though you see JavaScript errors uh, all the time, but mobile applications crash even more. And it's, it's hard to debug, it's hard to, to figure out what, what crashed because those apps are out in the wild. So what we do with that is we will, every time there's a crash, we'll, det we'll detect it and we'll report back the whole crash dump with the, so you can, do, you can debug it. We'll also, we'll also analyze them, we'll figure out uh, is, is, are, are there more crashes happening on some particular line of code? Or is the crash happening because there was a new version of iOS came out and people who upgraded to that, only those applications are crashing. So we'll provide you all of that analytics as mobile developer to solve those problems. 
This is another capability. If you are a AppDynamics APM customer, I would say it's a no-brainer for you to also try AppDynamics mobile real user monitoring. It's very easy to try. It will not take more than 15, 20 minutes for you to get started. If you are not responsible for your mobile apps, uh, if it will really help you to, uh, to have your mobile development teams uh, try out AppDynamics. So, you, so as a business, you get completely integrated view from the mobile uh, apps all the way into the, what's happening in the, in the data center. Now I have, an, I have a new, uh, uh, new announcement here. We are introducing our iOS app, where, uh, which brings the, the, the power of AppDynamics platform into your, into your phone now. It makes it much more accessible. You can do uh, uh, a lot of the things that you can do from the AppDynamics client interface uh, from the browser, you can do with a native app. Very powerful. Everything from push notifications, where you can get alert on your, uh, on, on your app, to uh, monitoring, collaboration, troubleshooting from there. Uh, very excited about it. It's coming out in our fall release. So now let's make, let me go to the next section now, which is about the, the, our uh, another strategic area where we are putting a lot of focus on, and we have a lot of exciting announcements to make here. And we'll show you a demo of something really, really cool in this area. So let's, let's, uh, let's talk about the concept of a war room. I'm pretty sure everyone uh, of you have been involved in a room like this at some point, right? When uh, a problem happens, something is slow, or some, your, your site is having an outage, your app is, is having an outage. People are looking at different pieces of data. Someone is looking at some other data. Someone is looking at some other data. Some, uh, someone is looking at some kind of logs, and you really can't keep up with it. Your bosses are yelling at you. As someone is asking for status reports every 10 minutes. What do you do? What you do is you create a war room. Everyone gets into a conference room. Everyone gets together so that you can solve problems faster. Right? So you can collaborate. You, are, you make sure you're looking at the same pieces of data. You can, you can talk to each other. You can chat. You can coordinate and make things happen. But it's, it's a very painful process, though. It's, it's, if it happens on the weekend, your weekend is spoiled. Everyone gets into a room like this. If it happens on a Friday night, two, uh, you know, two, 2 a.m., your night is spoiled. Right? So it's a, it's a very, very painful process. I, I have lived in this world. I have been in these, many of these war rooms personally, and that's something I really wanted to address. And what we have done is, for the very first time in industry, we are introducing this concept of a virtual war room. What a virtual war room does, it, it allows you to, to do what you would do in a physical war room, but, uh, it, 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 but make it, will make it even more easier, that you are sharing, the, sharing data in real time. You're collaborating with each other in real time. You're chatting with each other in real time. You're, you're seeing the same screens. People can just drag and drop and say, hey, look at this piece of data. I'm watching this right now. Someone can, can, can talk about it, and you coordinate, you, you collaborate, and you solve problems very, very rapidly. Very groundbreaking. This is the first time, I would say, in the, in the world of monitoring and management that you have this capability of a virtual war room where you can come in and do things together. Uh, we'll, we'll have a demo, live demo of it, where we'll see how, how it works and how, how cool, how groundbreaking it is. Another very exciting capability we are launching in our next release in fall is, 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 the, is the concept of a business flow. A business flow is, uh, is when you have different business units in your, in your, in your company, a uh, diff lot of different applications, where different uh, teams are responsible for managing these applications, but they're still integrated with each other. How do you manage the flow of your, uh, of your business across these multiple applications? And that's the capability we are, we are announcing with business flow, makes it very easy for you to, to, uh, to see how different software applications, how different IT systems interact with each other in a very complex uh, uh, business, business environment. With that, let me, uh, let me uh, invite on stage our CTO and head of product management, Bhaskar. Bhaskar and his team have been responsible for uh, hearing the feedback from you and driving a lot of these innovations that we, that we have been delivering. All right. Thanks, Jyoti. This is pretty awesome. Is this, is this really our conference? It is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's so just, uh, just sharing that excitement. But I want to really, really start off by uh, thanking all of you guys to take the time to be here. Um, and then also really thank you guys to be partners in, you know, in, in helping us build you know, game-changing software. Right? And so we're going to start off with the War Room demo. Uh, Jodi introduced the concept, and what we're really trying to solve is real, you know, real-time data sharing, kind of looking at the same thing. So let's just use a simple scenario, so we can do a quick five-minute demo for that. 
Let's switch to demo now. Yeah. So the scenario is that, let's just say, I am in charge of um, you know, IT ops for uh, order fulfillment applications. So one of those apps which uh, you know, processes a bunch of orders. And then, um, and then look here. So, so as Jyoti just mentioned, he, uh, you know, he introduced the iOS app. I just got a push notification uh, saying that there's some problems with order fulfillment, right? So we'll go into the demo and see how we troubleshoot it. So the first thing I'm thinking about right now is, let me check my email. And I actually have an email from a teammate. So my team is responsible for looking at this app, right? So I got an email for a war room invite. So this is going to let me, so let me click on this really quick. So this is going to let me go directly to this war room to start collaborating, right? And so um, I just joined. That's the participant list. Um, and what you see here is we're actually looking at the orders being fulfilled. And I actually noticed that there's a fair amount of fluctuation in orders being fulfilled. So what I'm going to do is, since, since Val, uh, my other teammate, he's looking at these metrics, I'm going to ask him to check if he checked on snapshots already, because the app is instrumented with our dynamic. So there'll be a bunch of snapshots that we automatically collect. So it's like, hey, have you? looked at snapshots. Can't type. All right. So I post that, and that goes in as a war room note. And you know the other really cool thing is that as I type in a note, that actually is correlated and overlaid on the metrics that are streaming. And these metrics are being streamed at literally like every second, right? Because you need to look at them at that kind of granularity. So let me check on to see if uh, Val looked at snapshots. So he said, oh, he has, he's already looked at the snapshots. And he's actually seeing a lot of timeout exceptions. So now, you know, looking at that message, I actually you know, remembered a scenario that we had a few weeks ago where we did not have the right capacity to serve these requests. Right? So what I'm going to do is ask Well to pull up another widget and start looking at data at the blocked threads. Because a lot of times when you're serving requests, you know, the threads that are servicing those requests, that kind of becomes a problem. So let's just quickly look at that. I'm going to ask him to pull up block threads for the server. So I sent that node in. And again, that gets correlated. Um, so as you can see, he's already on pulling up block threads. And you can also see that another of my teammates just joined the war room. So it's, it's really that easy. The link gets sent around. And then everybody can join this. And then he must be pulling up data right now to kind of set this up. And you know, me and Ray, the other people on the war room, can see all the data that Val is pulling up so we can start collaborating. Right? So I think he just set up the widget to uh, you know, set up the data for uh, uh, the, the block threads. And let's just see how that comes up. So it's just started streaming. right? Um, and just give me a second to wait for, uh, for that data. Um, Isn't this cool? I wish we had it when we were troubleshooting all this. Yeah, issues. absolutely, man. And you know, it's pretty amazing. Every time I talk to uh, you know, customers about the feature before you know, we actually released it, everybody was like, can I use it now? Right? It's, it's rare that this level of excitement comes up for a, for a feature like this, because everybody tells me, hey, I have this massively distributed team, and we really struggle to collaborate. And I think, I think if, if, you know, if we can solve those problems, then you know, I think it'll be really awesome. So, OK, so now we have the data. So this is the second widget that Val pulled up. And as you can see, the orders fulfilled and the block threads kind of have an inverse relationship. right? So the more block threads, you, know, you have issues fulfilling orders. So what I'm going to do is ask Ray to, can you bump up thread capacity? So it's really that easy to kind of collaborate, to look at the same data. I mean, obviously, we you know, shrink the whole kind of troubleshooting process to five minutes just to illustrate the power of this thing. But, but really, you can, you can pull up multiple widgets. And what we're going to do is build more widgets to start doing streaming of log files, streaming of top 10 process lists, and things like that. Everything that you need, which is kind of your go-to to do it. right? And the last thing I want to show is it's, it's really easy to start this as a process and invite people. So in this case, Val can give me privileges to kind of do it. But it's super easy. It's super quick to start doing this. So I'll just go to the section. And I can basically say, right here, uh, start a war room. And once this starts off, I am the presenter. 
And what I can do is start, I can either end the session, obviously, but I can also um, invite other people to join the war room from here. So it's that easy to kind of really look at uh, data in real time and, and start troubleshooting. Is that awesome or what? This is so cool, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is, the, this is the first time ever this kind of real-time collaboration for troubleshooting, a war room where you can, you're all seeing the same data. The biggest challenge always that happens is everyone is looking at different pieces of data, and then you're spending, wasting all this time on what are you looking at, what I'm looking at, what I'm looking at. It's one screen, you, you drag and drop, people are looking at the same things, they're chatting with each other, they're collaborating, so powerful. Another interesting thing about this that, you would, that we will add in future is that you can save the whole war room. So say, if you, if you troubleshooted a problem, you can say, I had this memory leak and I troubleshooted this a month ago, and we had this whole war room about you save it. And now once you save it, you can replay it, and you can, you can use it for training scenarios that this, when this happens, this is how we troubleshooted it last time, and your war room was recorded on what, what you did as, that pro, as part of troubleshooting all the, that. Because all the notes really will go into the awesome new event platform, which is infinitely scalable and indexable and searchable, so it's just gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Bhaskar, this Thanks. is really cool. <laughs> So I'm going to talk about our, our new product that we are announcing today now, Application Analytics, which is really, really exciting. Again, a very groundbreaking offering where we think where it will, it will change the game on how IT and business could work together and collaborate more. We talked about how dev and ops and the, everyone in the dev and ops teams collaborate together with a war room, uh, with a virtual war room. This, is, this product, Application Analytics, is about how does IT, developers, and, and, uh, and ops work with business uh, really, really well. I talked about our vision uh, of one unified application intelligence platform, one platform where operations, developers, business all come together and work on things, uh, on things together so with one common language that everyone speaks, right? With, and which allows IT and business to, to come together. As IT, uh, so many times you have to answer questions from business, right? People from, uh, uh, from business will come and ask you, we had this slowdown, can you tell me how much revenue did we, lo did, we, did we lose? We had this slowdown, can you tell me which users got impacted? We had this slowdowns, can you tell me what, what those users are buying so maybe we can send them a discount code? Uh, sometimes it would be things are lost in your business process, that this order came in, but it was, it was put in the fulfillment queue but never fulfilled. Can you, track, can you track for me what happened in the IT systems of why that order wasn't fulfilled? All of these questions, uh, it they sound simple, but they can take weeks, months sometimes to answer uh, these, this kind of the, the relationship between what's happening in your IT systems to what happening, uh, uh, what's the impact on, on, on your business. I'm very thrilled to announce our application analytics product very groundbreaking, very, very, uh, it makes this problem so much simpler, so much easier on how do you, as IT, how do you answer all of these business questions? As business, how do you get, uh, uh, how, how do you correlate your IT systems, your IT organizations back to the business impact? Uh, our approach to all of this is very different, very different than most analytics that, that you've done in the past, which is automated data collection. If you are, if we have put our agents in your application, all you have to do is to turn one flag on, and we'll start automatically data, uh, collecting data in your, from your apps. We'll start instrumenting your apps, we'll start watching your transactions. We'll, uh, we'll capture the business context. The IT data by itself is not that useful. IT data with business context is what allows uh, to solve all of these problems, to answer all of these questions. So we'll automatically capture all of the business context. And the third thing, we'll tie it to, uh, to real-time analytics, that all of this data, not just historical batch analytics, where you're looking at a month of data and trying to figure out what was the revenue impact of something. This is all real time. Everything happening in real time, what's the impact of something? The way we do that is really recording every transaction. Every transaction that goes your system, we record every, we are watching every line of code, and we are watching the performance data, the business data, and we are propagating the business context in the entire transaction execution flow. And all of this happening automatically, and so you get this full visibility on this is what the user was doing. This is all, all of these different IT systems participated in that transaction, these 20 different services. And all the performance data, all the business data from each of these uh, areas automatically comes into, into AppDynamics now. It's very, very powerful. If you, if you think about what you can do with it, the possibilities are endless. You can answer so many questions. Imagine every transaction that's going through a system is recorded, the performance data, the business data, the business context, 
every every service that participated in that transaction is recorded now uh, uh, with, with, uh, in, in AppDynamics analytics platform. You can answer questions around business impact analysis, the questions around, we had a slowdown, how much revenue did we lose? What, which users got impacted? You can answer those questions in, in less than a second. You, you drag and drop, build a, uh, build a dashboard and answer those questions very, very rapidly. Uh, you, if you want to analyze your customer analytics, which customers are using what features, which customers are, uh, I, I, do you have a certain type of customers that are using a feature more? Uh, did, you, did you have an increase in conversion rate for once you uh, deployed this feature for a select group of customers? All of those questions, very easy to answer just with, uh, by building dashboards in real time, extremely easy, extremely fast that we're we are going to demo to you. Business operations monitoring, the scenario I talked about where you lose an order in, in, your, in your process. Someone, so, some, someone put an order, you put it to the fulfillment department, and the order is lost somewhere in the IT systems, and you really have no easy way to track it. You can, uh, we, 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 can, we can make it really easy for you to search for, for, search for, the, for, for a transaction with the, this order ID and what happened to the, to, the, to the fulfillment systems and why this order didn't get processed. We'll make it extremely easy to do that. A very, very powerful performance analytics you can do by looking at real-time data streams, look, slicing and dicing in any, any ways you want. SLA management, both operational SLAs, business SLAs, which partners are not meet, are you're not meeting SLAs for which partners? Why are you not meeting them? What's the, what's the impact of not meeting that SLA? Um, and much more. The possibilities are really endless of what you can do with it. Every, every transaction that's going through your system is recorded. We make it extremely easy for you to slice the data, dice the data, to build it on dashboards, to generate reports, everything in real time, and making it very easy to share with, uh, with, with everyone. With that, we'll show you uh, another really exciting demo something I'm pretty sure will blow your mind away. Go ahead, Bhaskar. All right, thanks, Jyoti. Uh, so uh, we, we really think our analytics offering um, is, is gonna be game-changing and revolutionary. So, so let's get to, the, get to the demo to take a look at what it does. Uh, just a little context, you know, uh, the application that we're using um, is, is, is really straightforward, simple e-commerce application. So you, know, you, you, you get on the page, uh, add some items to catalog, um, and then um, you know, do a checkout. And what we look at is what are the kind of business questions we can answer? How do we link business and performance together? Uh, you know, and things like that. So before I start, you know, um, uh, really blowing your mind, like Jody said, <laughs> let me introduce the interface a little bit so you know uh, what's really happening. So the two things that Jody touched upon: one was automated data collection, right? Like how do we collect data? Uh, we've made the cost of ownership really low, so all the APM instrumentation that gets once you turn analytics on, it automatically starts capturing business fields from your transaction, right? So when you have a distributed complex transaction, uh, any piece of code that can be a method parameter, can be a header, can be an XML document fragment or a JSON document key, um, if, if that is critical business data, so in this case, one of the fields can be, what is the amount of uh, you know, the, the, the cart uh, that you're checking out? Like, so, so you have multiple items, what is the sum total of all those items before you're checking out? And here is the field, right? So you just have to configure what data you collect um, and remember, there's no change to your code, and that's how it is automated data collection across the infrastructure that you can get. So card total here obviously represents that. There are other attributes to this transaction, um, um, and those are you know, what server it's happening on, what tier it's happening on, how slow was it. So these are all the operational attributes, and this is how we kind of really tie these things together. And it, it, it obviously takes the business transaction context forward, as Jyoti said, so that's really, really important. So just to prove that, and uh, as I start you know, asking questions, the first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is to add a filter here for transactions. So it shares the same data model as APM, so you already have that sort of comfort of you know, dealing with the same data sets. So I'm gonna say, I'm actually gonna introspect checkout transactions. And I'm gonna basically look at what is the amount so I'm looking at the last 15 minutes. So what I want to see is what's been the revenue generated in the last 15 minutes. So let me start with doing that. So I drag car total onto the y-axis. It's really that simple, you know? It's really intuitive in the interface saying, I have my field that represents this. I drag it to the y-axis to see how much it was done. And it's really simple to change the visualization. So I click on you know, the, the, the number value, and I give it a title, and I save it to dashboard. And um, let me add another widget. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to look at card total, and, but I want to look at it over time, right? So 
Let me just do this. So that's my nice time series there uh, over time. And then I'm just going to save this you know, as well. And I'll show you the finished dashboard uh, when we're done. The, uh, the next one I want to do is, so, so now I'm looking at revenue and revenue over time as a time series. The next one I want to do is do car total again. But what I want to see is how this is broken down based on the items, right? So I'm going to drag item type right here. And then that gives me a visualization of the items broken down by revenue. So how are they contributing? So I can look at it as a pie chart. Um, I can look at it as some of these new modern visualizations, like a tree map and a circle pack. Circle pack. So that's how easy it is. You really just drag and drop fields, and it comes up with that <laughs> visualization, right? <laughs> So I save that, and then the yeah. So now the, the the next question would be okay. So if something, what what's the impact of uh, IT on the, all this? Like if something slows down, something bad, what will happen? How much how much less revenue would we generate? Yeah, and that's also as easy to do as yeah. uh, as what uh, the slicing and dicing basket. Just absolutely. Said. So so let me show you that example of how we connect you know business and performance, right? So I drag this again, right? So I have the revenue, but now what I want to slice this with is user experience. So if you use uh, our APM solution. It already buckets transactions in normal, slow, error, very slow stalls, right? It, it really buckets them by user experience. So now you can see a breakdown of that. And then when I do the pie chart visualization, this is really showing you what the, what the contribution to these transactions are with respect to that. So the most important thing to note here is when you, when you look at the error transactions, it basically means that those transactions never happened, right? So this is the revenue you're kind of losing Maybe it was an outage, maybe it was a problem, but this is where it was losing. Now, what do you do after this? Now, as a business, you want to make sure uh, things that did not happen or things that did not sort of were not fulfilled, you want to address those. So how do you do that? So you go to search results, right? And then this is the raw table. So what I'm really trying to do is to grab a list of all these people that had error transactions. So actually... Let me go back. Yeah, let me go back here. And, and what, I, what I can do is generate this table. I can deselect things that I don't want. So you're still working with the same fields that you had before. Uh, maybe I want to see when it happened. And I also want to add things like uh, username so I know what the user was. This is, again, being collected as a, as a business field. Uh, and maybe I'm also interested in what they were buying and what type of items these were, right? So now I have a list of all the people who were affected with those error transactions. And all I need to do is to download that, email that to my marketing team or my customer success team, and boom, they have all the lists they need to look at to sort of work with. And you know how amazing is that? You go <laughs> from the operational data I mean, one second you're basically looking at you know, how things are going and performing, and when you see problems, you jump you go directly to the business data, you hand that over to the teams that can actually work with it, instead of like churning 20 different tools that have no context, right? You're carrying the context forward. So, so that was, I have just one more thing yeah, to show, yeah, right. and um, this is super exciting. So this is, as, as part of analytics, right? Um, what we're obviously doing is collecting business data for all transactions, all clicks. So what you see here is a transaction live stream, right? So every click that's been happening in the application is being represented here, and that's actually streaming live. And the amazing thing here is I can add more criteria to this filter, so I can basically say, I want to see only checkouts, right? And that kind of changes in real time. But I can do better, right? I can basically say, let me go back to our favorite field, cart total, and say, the value is more than $1,000. So now you're seeing customers and real-time clicks that are below that line. So that line is the performance line. We're just, pro we're just plotting a 95th percentile performance transaction line. And I can change this in real time. I can say, maybe I want to look at even higher profile customers, right? So this is how we're bringing in all the data in, coming into the live event platform, and you're able to see these mind-blowing visualizations of these transactions and the business data that goes along with it. And, uh, you know, and, and, and that's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's it for the demo. Uh, quick thanks to uh, the team that makes it happen and the team that builds 
uh, you know, all this awesome software. And uh, really thank you guys to uh, partner with us and make that happen. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bhaskar. Thanks. This, this is definitely very groundbreaking. As, as uh, this is really what allows now IT and business to look at the same kind of data, where you have one source of data, you are looking at every business transaction. I talked about business transaction as the primary unit of management. Now it's, uh, we started with your performance monitoring and troubleshooting of business transactions. We expanded into the user experience monitoring and management of those business transactions. Now, it's, now we take it to the business analytics of those uh, business transactions. What is the business impact? And business people can come in, drag and drop, slice and dice, build dashboards very easily. Look at it, look at it, look at it in real time. It's a, what happening every, you saw the transaction stream. What transactions are streaming in? Which users you can do? Uh, do, do, do things so easily. And it's, uh, it's, Bhaskar made it look easy and the demo looked easy because it's, it, doing real-time processing on this volume of transactions is a very hard problem. And our, uh, our data team with our new platform that I talked about, our time series platform and the event platform that we just launched, allows us to make this happen, that we can process these trillions of events in real time, do all of this uh, analytics for you, allow you to do slicing and dicing on these real-time streams and build all of these uh, uh, the dashboards, wizards, wh wh you know, whatever you wish to solve problems. It's uh, very, very exciting. And we'll, uh, uh, these abilities will be available in our fall release next month for our SaaS customers. If you're on-premise, it will, uh, over, the, over the next three to six months, you can start engaging uh, with, with our team to, to start using these. There'll be demos, there'll be breakout session on our analytics, very uh, exciting offering uh, uh, from, from us here. So I talked about these five strategic areas where we are introducing new functionality, new capabilities, new products, and as part of expanding our application intelligence platform. Next generation platform architecture, which allows us to build, the, to have the architecture to deliver more and more of these capabilities for you, where we can, uh, we can give, provide you real-time analytics, we can provide you even management for even larger environments, massively complex applications, with hundreds of millions of users, everything that you have, we, our, our architecture, our platform will allow us to, uh, to provide, provide that, that we could scale at, at, as your business scale, as, as you scale. Second thing I talked about, our unified monitoring strategy, that we, what we are doing is uh, uh, slowly and steadily expanding more and more monitoring modules for you to monitor more parts of your application stack. So we, I talked about our C++ uh, agent, the industry's first dynamic instrumentation agent for the C++ apps. I talked about beta for Python agent, uh, very powerful, the best Python APM product. I talked about database monitoring integration, integrated offering where you can go very deep into database monitoring uh, right from, the, from your business transactions on the application middleware. Uh, the industry's first such a tightly integrated solution between applications and database monitoring. Uh, I talked about uh, our, our synthetic monitoring abilities that will be available as part of the real user monitoring product, and then the, the, then the new product that we are going to announce on synthetic product pro uh, monitoring in future. I talked about uh, our, uh, our alignment with what you are going through, the mobile first kind of strategies. As your business changes the consumer interactions to mobile, we want to be at the forefront of helping you with that. So I talked about our mobile real user monitoring product, which uh, gives you very powerful uh, usage analytics on where the, what your mobile users are doing, allows you to do performance troubleshooting, monitoring for your mobile applications, all the way starting from the mobile client to the what's happening on the, on the middleware, what's happening in the database layer. And then um, I, I talked about our iOS app. So you can use your, your mobile phone to start getting full power of uh, AppDynamics. Things that the demos you saw, you, uh, our, our, our goal is that all of this you should be able to do with your phones at some point, and we'll be continuing to, uh, to expand our, our mobile apps uh, to provide you that kind of mobile-first experience. You saw uh, uh, what we are doing in DevOps collaboration. That's, the, that's another really strategic area for us where we, we uh, part of our roadmap where we'll be bringing more and more abilities to you. How do, you, how do we make it easy for people to collaborate? How do we make it very easy for when a problem happens? How do you do uh, how do you how does it in how does it uh, make your life easier one of the things that i personally have always liked hearing from our customers i was uh, the, the the very first time we started building our product and we, we uh, one of our first f a few customers i asked I asked him so what impact did we make for you he said i got my sleep back and that's to me that was such a such a such a great thing to hear that what we do is uh, job of it operations job of it is hard 
you know you always uh, you always have this pressure on something may go down something may not may not be up you have your pager on you have your alerting on and you're watching at screens and you you constantly feeling this pressure right so what we look at it how do we make that easy and easy for you how do we make how do we get give you your sleep back how do we get give you the the assurance you want so you can be you can be more assured about that your apps are doing doing what they're supposed to do right and that's uh, uh, you saw the demo of our virtual war room really uh, groundbreaking the industry's first real time collaboration where you can look at the same data the same screens collaborate with each other chat with each other and uh, solve problems much faster um, and then finally i talked about application analytics which uh, it's, we are uh, announcing in our fall release very exciting really bridges the gap between it and business and makes it so easy and so so simple to answer all of these questions that you struggle with you're looking at hundreds of these log files to figure out data you're asking developers to instrument to modify the code to put some some of this uh, uh, the uh, some of, to capture some more data so you can build a report for your business users all all of that goes away now it's uh, all you have to do is put our agents in your environment we'll start recording every transaction and you can do whatever splicing dicing uh, business reporting that you can you want to do with that so it's really really exciting so a lot of a uh, uh, lot of great capabilities that are coming out of part of our application intelligence platform and i'm very uh, th uh, very thrilled to share that with you i know it was a lot for a uh, for for a one hour session we talked about a lot of things uh, what what i would uh, uh, what what i would uh, uh, encourage everyone is to participate in our breakouts we have breakouts for a lot of these capabilities we have talked about our engineers are here engineers who have built these capabilities these products uh, a lot of them are here they will be in the developer lounge showing these demos uh, and it would be a great opportunity for for you to interact with our engineers directly uh, for for our engineers to interact with you to learn your feedback your ideas to exchange uh, uh, ex exchange ideas with each other that would be that would be very exciting personally for me my goal for the next uh, couple of days would, would be to meet as as many of you as uh, of you as i can i want to learn from you i want to uh, to learn how we can do better how we can help you more uh, in your goal of uh, transforming your business through through it transforming your business through uh, through through software as you go through that we want to be part of the uh, 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 we we want to be uh, providing you management platform we want to be able to provide you intelligence platform for you to solve problems and do that much much better so once again uh, thanks for joining us this will be a very exciting conference